Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Road to 56 Mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany lover. As you can see, Austria's gone, Hungary has fallen, and we're invading Italy as well. We lost quite a few guys, but that's okay. It's all for the good of Europe and and communist dominance. But we're establishing the Deutsche Arbeitsfront. Ah, uh, where is that? Oh, it's all the way over here. Replacing all the German workers' unions with one government called control union will allow us to ensure optimal efficiency in the German industrial complex and make it easier to institute industrial and economic reforms. Um, yeah, the book's combined stuff we did already. Unify and power the German people of all of Europe and the world. Um, motorize the stability costs? Uh, we can do that one. Expand, but we're going to expand the military industri industries first. Using contractor-based military industry and large amounts of government funding will expand our industrial complex to a new level. As we should be able to push through Italy relatively okay-like, as far as I could tell, maybe. Um, Gun-wise, we need more support equipment. We've got plenty of guns, tanks, and support equipment. That's really what we need. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Of course, we need more. We need a lot more of this, too. A lot more dive bombers, too. Armored cars, light tanks, of course, we'll get down there, too. Keep building more, 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 more. Czechoslovakia negotiates. Oh. Um, 1739, though. Uh, August. Interesting turn of events in Czechoslovakia. Our ambassador Prague contacted us, and it seems that with Edvard Benes gone, the new Czechoslovak leadership appears to be more willing to compromise with us. Very cool. Perhaps such an agreement would be would prevent unnecessary bloodshed. What should we do? Well, give me some time first to figure out what we want to do first. Special forces? You know what? We need that one first. Send Ribbentrop to, to Prague. Do nothing. They'll be destroyed. Czechoslovak state. Oh! Okay, well, you know, we'll send you to negotiate. Send in the negotiator! Anything else we could really do here? No? Then why is it highlighted? I don't understand. Yugoslavia, if you don't pay by September 1st, you will. We are going to cancel your uh, membership fee. Or your membership, not your fee, but membership. I don't think Italy can really do too much against us by themselves, especially once we break through the Alps. I mean, parts of these still have, are still mountain, mountainous and whatnot, but still. Oh. Well, Portugal's now finally having some good times. Ah, beautiful. Circle and destroy. We have a lot of army XP. I just realized that. Holy crap. Um, Graf Spee? Spee? Oh. Converted cruiser hull. Oh god. Oh good god. There you go. Um. Yeah, I guess we do have a crap ton of army XP. What do I do with all this army XP then? We want the best cast possible. Enemy aging turn, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, you might as well do this stuff. Armor motorized. I mean, I'm not sure what else we could really do with our army XP. I would like to get who? Richard, Rickard Heidrich, as well as Eugene Mindel. But yeah, uh, more trade, sure, why not? Um, you know what? Might as well. How much political power do we get every day? 1.63. Uh, it's not bad. Keep the Air Force. We definitely could use those guys. And it's Tailman doing alright. You know what? Go and do that one. Nine. Uh, what was this? Dora. Heavy Cannon? Because we have Max. Railway Gun. Railway Gun. I love Dora. Dora. Our Dora likes to explore a lot. And by explore, I mean bomb living hell out of enemies. Um, if you want to be smart, just go for Rome. Rome falls to German troops. Oh, ah, uh, fall Nanjing. All right, more infantry is not a bad thing at all. We have a of seven divisions up there, which is pretty darn good. Uh, we're gonna fail that attack there, but whatever. Uh, how much more of Italy do we need? We're, we're getting close. Seventy-six percent of the way there, not bad. Last convoy, which sucks, but whatever. Um, here. Head to Naples. Head down here, too. Taranto. And get to Palermo if you can. Messina. Messina. Is it Messina or is it Messina? How do you pronounce that? I have no idea. If you know how to pronounce that, please let me know. I always mispronounce things all the time, anyways, but still. I'd like to, I'd like to correct myself from time to time. Shock troops? Shock them a little harder, baby. There goes Ecuador. Watch out. Ecuador's gone. Go 
cool. Nice. And uh, they're done. So what's uh Czechoslovakia gonna do now? Got rid of the Pact of Rome, and we have oh some African holdings again. Oh god, they are decolonizing. Oh god, that's terrible. Because um, of state guaranteed independence of you get UK. I mean, I'm kind of inclined to just attack them and kill them all off because I like doing that. But still, um, we don't have enough divisions as is, of course. Go with eight for now. Tanks are not terrible. They're just not great. We need to get some better tanks. We need to get more tanks, I guess specifically. Um, I don't mind these divisions either. Motorized are not bad. I do like these divisions quite a bit. I love these shock troops. Maintenance, don't really need that. Logistics, supply use, organization does go down quite a bit though. But I'm probably gonna make a 40 combo with anyway, so go and do that too. Um, motorized infantry. If we're gonna shock, we're gonna shock hard. Of course, we can put some motorized artillery for even more soft attack, too. Can we not have sh shock, motorized shock artillery battalions? That'd be really cool. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we did that one, too. Oh, we did that. Okay, so 38 combo with, I mean, that's okay. We need to make them even bigger and better, but whatever. Actually, what if we just go to war with you? Can we do that? 155 days. Guaranteed by the French. Guaranteed by the French. Of course, they are democratic. Guaranteed by those northerners there. Oh! I guess the allies are dead. Like the Commonwealth of Nations. And you're the common turn. Public. At this point, I just kind of want to see who I can go to war with. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovak state. Actually, we go to war with Romania. Then we go to war with these guys. And then that would be not too bad. So that's not a terrible thing too, either. So we could do something like this. Unless these guys want to become our puppet. And then I'm totally okay with whatever they want to do. Oh, well. Crap. They join the Commonwealth of Nations? Oh, whatever. You guys, pass back for yes, please. You guys. Cavalry? Yeah, no, definitely. Combine arms. That's the way to go for these guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Do that. Hopefully they follow to us. Uh, convoy highways are very nice. It's almost 1940. Let's go and start researching more stuff from 1940, which would be very, 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 very good. Um, regarding this tree, because I've, I've played this tree before, they have to go. If we keep doing this way, they have to go cave to us, right? Which kind of sucks for them, but we're not them, so we don't care. For now, go and put down some resistance, because I'm sure we'll have plenty of resistance all around here, especially in Italy, so I do that too. Is there any way we can core Austria with, with just killing them off like how we did? Um, that's not enough here. Just in case, go put it, a radar station right there. Keep getting more civvies, oil, fuel, all that good stuff, you know. We're going to bring revolution to Romania. We're done with the air doctrine now, wow. Um, that too, that's good. How big are these divisions? We have enough manpower. And artillery. We need more support equipment, though, don't we? Yeah, we do. We need way more motorized now, too. Maybe a little bit of an issue, but not, hopefully not too much. Field artillery, guns, carrier dive bombers. Actually, how are the ships looking? Cruisers, carriers. 1936 carrier A. It's not bad. Cruiser hull, cruiser hull. Well, I don't want any of that stuff. Oops, got rid of it a bit too much. Here, mediums, 1940s, go and get 1940s mediums, that's fine. Pink by Romanian posturing, very nice. Oh, now you're guaranteed by all this good. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, I mean, if we have to fight three enemies at the same time, that's fine. Um, oh, go over here first. Well then. Influence, Volkswagen, still works, synthetic fire refiners would be good. The new example of communism. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is weak and does not represent true communism. Only the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany can guarantee the safety and prosperity of European socialist nations. Oh, it looks like we need at least a supply base right there, too. That's fine. So what options do we have? We have you guys, a bunch of fascists. 
Uh, let's be working on this too for now. We have you guys guaranteed by base of the Commonwealth of Nations, which sucks. Final right, three. Final three, basically. Um. Hungarian Alliance. Invite Romania. Rather on time. Infusion of the Soviets. Do they press us? It's not ruling party. So the galvanized red unions, maybe? No. It's fully independent. Join the common turn. But they're fascist. Support the Wehrmacht coup. Oh. Military police is nice. Better logistics is also very, 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 very nice. Penne incident. Oh, Chile is killing people. It's fine, whatever. Um, here, come over here. Get generation chance because you can. All right. Regional integration. Increase trade because you can. Go for more divisions. Oh, oh, the Japanese shogunate. Huh. War industrialist. Smooth talking charmer. Declare attention on us. Uh, resistance figure. Eh, it's alright. At least a gentleman. You know, we're gonna go with him just because we've already are using that anyways right now, so. We're done with all that stuff, which is good. Uh, keep improving ourselves if possible. Keep building that up too. Uh, refineries. Yeah, we could use more refineries still. Maybe right there. Because we need more fuel, we need more rubber. Uh, Estonian? No, we're good. Keep getting more stuff here too. That's with you guys. Guaranteed by a whole bunch of people. So we're going to say no. Um, Yugoslavia. Mild Macedonian opposition. Authoritarians. It's going to take quite a while. But will we have enough soldiers to do this? We should, technically. In theory. Should have enough soldiers. <coughs> by the time we go to war with them. What's this? Swiss Confederation asked for guarantees. Swiss Confederation has met with us with, in private order to discuss plans for possible joint deployment. Should they be attacked by somebody? Although not spoken. Uh, we also suspect that the Swiss Confederation also made plans with blank in case we attack them. Refuses the opportunity as to plan in case tries blank tries to outblank us could. Uh, possibly hurt us deeply in the future. Should we make this not secret agreement? Eh. They've chosen their path. So that mine, we should have enough soldiers for the entire front here. Should be able to move pretty quickly through there. Get enough supplies for here and start making another army for this group here. Should go okay. It'll take some time though. New example of communism? Yes, please. Safeguard neutrality. Issue with the steelworks. I would like more civvies. Or synthetic refineries too. Total war. Bundewaffe. Or naval effort, it's not bad. Yeah, I'll do that one too. Expansion for Navy should be a first priority. Sign all available resources for the new dockyards and research into light surface ships. Increase influence of the Balkans. That sounds pretty good. Increase influence of the Eastern Europe as well. Yeah, that's not a bad idea too. Do all that stuff. U boat efforts. Uh, just torpedoes. I mean, that's like the one we want to do. Sub uh, production. Oh, but I like big plans. I like those big ones. Um, and then we'll probably do issues with the steelworks. The Veronica Stalvac uh, AG has long been a primary steel producer for Germany, but it's a private company with little government oversight. Creating racks back at Hermann Goring or, uh, <clears throat> and Tailman will give us a steel producer that the government controls. Yeah, Hermann Goring, he's a dead fat man at this point. Uh, I always got to go with Otto. For now, it's help put on resistance. Um, that's pretty good over there already. Go to northern Italy for now. And who do we invite? Latvia. Why would we invite Latvia? And, well, everybody, it's time for the good old... How long is it going to take for Czechoslovakia to die? As well as Romania. Uh, apparently, though, we can call the Republic of Turkey into our faction. Sectarian woes, huh? Um, they're currently fighting Turkey as well. So Turkey's killing itself. Provisionary state of Anatolia versus the uh, other Turkey. So, And we do need to have a faction, technically. Or find an ally so we can complete and make sure we have our Leninist pact. Get 2% more stability. We always pop someone else. Oh. What? Of all factions, a joint. Why? 
I don't want to be at war with Colombia, though. Well, this is a weird war. All right. Guatemala's been called in. Better watch out. Quick in their little boots now. Oh, it's a glitch. We can't even see this. But currently, we're doing issues with steelwork, so. Romania apparently joined, too, but the, mo the main goal right now is to take these guys out. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys were supposed to join the war as well. Oh, no, it's guaranteed by them. Okay. All right, well, we're still doing all right here. Still doing a-okay. Okay. And so recommends are the name of the game for Czechoslovakia. Then we'll focus on Romania, and then we'll have a lot more fun. Can you guys actually go in and do well? Maybe. Yeah, if we could just slice this little part off, that'd be great as well. But I kind of doubt we can, but you never know. Um, can you guys go in there? Yeah. Slowly entering Czechoslovakia. Ah, uh, look at those divisions. Encircled. And all going to die. In 1940, of course. Uh, CV fighters? Sure, why not? Hey, they all died. Yay, I wish we could see this though. Besides Turkey, I want I want someone else but Turkey. Turkey's not bad, but Turkey's already killing itself. Also, we did send soldiers to the front. The Finnish front, which is why they own Leningrad. I was really helping them out. And they were doing really well here, but, you know, whatever. Ah, the, the, there goes those boys. Very nice, very nice. Um, can we actually just find you two? That's a lot of days. 125? That's quite a bit. We're actually doing okay without the main infantry army here, so. Uh, anything here besides Graf Zeppelin and the 1936 cruiser hull? No. Uh, working on the anti-air. Should have absolute air superiority. That's, not, that's a good amount of damage. Not bad, too. Not bad. After the steel works, total war. Uh, it's considered a major country. Oh god. We get Albert Speer and total mobilization. Oh, I don't know if I need total mobilization. Uh, National strategic resource industries. National industries responsible for producing for strategic resources will improve or yield to these resources, allowing us to sustain our military much better. Cool. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to get all the way over here, though. Don't want, definitely don't fight the Commonwealth of Nations. United States of Brazil. Kill off all these other countries. I don't know. Maybe the main goal would be just eliminate the common turn. Maybe take out the UK. Dominate Europe, maybe. I don't want to invade all the way to America, maybe. That seems like a bit too much, in my opinion. Uh, get some heavy ships. Get some really heavy ships. Uh, I wish we could see that. Dang it. War bonds? Sure, why not? We could use war bonds. Can we not? Of course we can. Um... Guaranteed. Choose the state. Oh, it's going to be a while before we can go to war with these guys, so. You guys might just come over here. Do that. Got some good railway guns. It's very nice. Very nice. Um, oh, they still own Mamel. Well, that's not good. Problem with steelworks. As the German military grows, we must ensure that we have a secure and stable source of steel. Our current primary steel producer, Veronik Dal Stalvek AG, has been a valuable ally in the NSDAP's rise to power <clears throat> and a significant employer of the German workers, but although Stalvek hasn't been yielding as much steel as possible, forming and supporting a Reichsvaka, uh, Ernst Talman, I would rather say, instead may produce significantly more steel and support the German warfare more effectively. 30 more steel? Military factory construction speed. More construction speed. You're more generic. You know what? Reichsvaka? No. We're going to stay with him for now. Stay with them. It's fine. Whatever. You guys looking still pretty good? Um, Army offense? We already have an offensive guy. But let's go on backhand blow if possible. Right here. The Esberg Iron Mine. Combat reports. Foreign influence. Heavy tanks, because why not? And 1941. Oh! The People's Bolivian, Re Re Bolivarian, Bolivarian, Bolivarian Republic State of Venezuela. Okay then! Early fighter model for ground attack roll. I don't really, never really need that. Well, I guess we've formed our faction. Kush student may be the most prominent. It's a paratrooper proponent commander of the army, but the Luftwaffe has many other talented leaders. Okay. 
Let's think about throwing these in here just for infantry divisions. Oh, we can even get flamethrower tanks, though. Oh, maybe we'll do this instead. Flamethrowers? I want whatever gives us more armor. Oh, God. I ruined your breakthrough. More reliability is not bad, though. Uh, three man turret, two man turret, three man turret. Speed doesn't matter too much, right? Especially if there's just. We're going to just throw them on infantry and stuff like that. I want stuff that gives us more armor. Armor skirts. I almost never choose that one. Armor. Breakthrough is not bad. More reliability. We might need that. Defense. Uh, more breakthrough, maybe? Well, let's come over here. We got a crap ton of armor. Diesel. Um, gasoline. Just keep it on gas. Well, we don't honestly need more engine. We need more armor here. Because infantry can only move at 4 kilometers per hour. So it doesn't even matter. No, it increased by 1. One more armor. 4.4. That's not bad. That's a lot of armor. Especially for the flamethrower roll. Oh. Um, don't hurt about that much more. Oh. Oh, okay. So that's just a lot less armor then. Well, that's not nice. Uh, 98% is still pretty good, though. We could try that. A Flampanzer. Nice. We're gonna make some medium tanks as well. As you can see right there. Um, 1940s carrier hull. Sure. Why not? Hangar space. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Three's fine. I'm surprised we actually almost... Oh, we almost have enough space here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sean Hulse would not be bad either. Um, you know what? We're so close. There we go. Let's do that. For you, you were close to getting more armor, but it's fine for now. Make two. Two of those. One of these. And we'll try to make our guys even better. Uh, is that it? For that one? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad overall. Nationalized aviation industry? Well, expand docker facilities. It's really to rebuild a uh, navy, a worthy navy of note. It must greatly expand our shipbuilding capabilities or capacity. Absolutely. Increase influence of the Benelux. That'd be nice. Before we start just killing everybody here. And honestly, we probably are just going to end up killing everybody. Danish. Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, then. Oh, okay. Oh, so that means. Oh, boy. Common turn. The Commonwealth, including America, is going to be fighting the USSR. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Heavy bombers, maritime bombers. Sure. Why not? Dive bombers. Uh, I don't think we have enough of this. Do that for now. Carrier. Dive bomber A. So, it's not bad. Well, looks like the world's going to crap. Also, I did send them 180 fighters over here, which is fine. Let's put you up so I can send you somewhere else. Dutch agent captured. Oh, the Dutch are doing some perfidious things here, huh? All right, interesting Dutch boys. Oh, let's go right there, too. Hmm. Let's do that. And what else? We got, the, we got our uh, resistance fighters going, which is good. Team 40. Oh, they enter book. They're doing well, huh? Simplified train? Sure. Has anyone guaranteed Yugoslavia yet? No, that's good. Improved working conditions. I might want to do that too. Um, we need more air XP, which is fine. Fuel, yeah, go into that. Don't bother with that one. Uh, Nothing armor scheme. Big old cannons, I like them big. Anything here? Nope. Alright. Ernst Tailman, he's. Well, he's definitely doing stuff. 
Junkers. Hmm. Nice. Doctor facilities. Here's influence. Ooh, suicide pills. Do you know the Zeder Z works? They're doing the Dutch are doing everything they can to not cave to us. Form a new government. Wait, what? Okay, so they're they're finally going down that way. They're finally going there. They can't do this. They need at least 50 trade influence. Neither have more than five. So they have to go to cave to the Germans. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to do that immediately, but my god, they're taking forever with that anyways, but still. Um, we'll, get the, well, we need some cruiser stuff, too. Ah, dive bomber, carrier dive bombers, torpedo bombers. Alright, so... Uh, carrier dive bombers, carrier dive bombers, and carrier naval bombers. Let's get one for now, too, would be good. All right, three things here. Oh, we have two carriers. Interesting. Let's take a look-see here. So we have torpedo bombers, carrier fighters, um, carrier dive bombers. So you can throw on 10 there. We have no torpedo bombers, of course. Go up to 20. Go down to 10. Go up to 20. Go down to 10. So, carrier dive bombers, torpedo bombers, fighters. Carrier bombers. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. Also, I, was, I guess I was making more guys over here too. Medium bombers, stuff like that. Not bad. Uh, throw them right there. It's good. Naval bombers. Oh, you're carrier naval bombers. Oh, well. Go to where you need to go. Now, that should be okay for these guys, right? They have 40 40, not bad. And. Increase demand trade with the Dutch. And we should be able to go to war pretty much almost immediately at this point. Alright, diplomatic training, not bad. Uh, hopefully no one else wants to uh, guarantee their independence, because that'd be really uncool. That'd be pretty cringe. Uh, throw nine there, but not really, and not really, and not really. There you go. Get her guys down there. Um, cruiser, carrier, cruiser. Ooh, heavy ship hole. Ooh. Oh, I want to start making this, but we have other things coming along that we're researching. Urgh. I don't want to invest too much into this thing, because that's not really worth it. Get some more convoys. We can always do more convoys, right? For now. And then approve working conditions. Oh, did I not give? Oh my goodness, I did not give you orders yet, did I? Well, that's pretty bad of me. That's my fault completely. Are we making those heavy tanks, flame tanks? Yes. Nice. I don't know. I just wanted to try them out. I saw that in a feedback gaming's video. I'm like, yeah, well, we should try that. They demand Bessarabia. For Soviet forces are country on the other side of the border, and their diplomats have demanded that we cede all of Bessarabia to them. We cannot expect the Germans to intervene, as their pact with the Russians apparently contain a secret protocol that puts us inside the Soviet sphere of interest. Should we proceed? Uh, Bessarabia. I mean, that's a good place to defend. That's a very good place to defend, actually. Go ahead, take it. Here are the Finns. The Soviet Social Republic of Germany cedes Bessarabia to this Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. It's fine. Whatever. We have bigger fish to fry right now anyways. Uh, so that's not bad. Anything else for those big boys? We also want some of these too. Do that too. And just a ton of army XP. I love it. Not sure what to do with it, but I love it anyways. Alright, let's see what happens. Actually, and you guys are by yourselves. Why is it 125 days? Hold on. We need more political power, first of all. We don't get enough, do we? 1.63, okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, just by World Towns, I kind of want to go with Personality Cult, because I want to go to war faster.
We have heavy batteries, the fall of Belgrade. Oh yeah, the war's going on. I forgot about that. Yeah, this, they're not going to be able to stand up to us. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I can't imagine these guys holding out that long. Communal decision making. Well, you know what? I think we'll do. I think we'll go with per color personality because Ernst Taylor is going to be that type of guy, maybe. Well, everybody, there's been a couple things that have happened. Not too many major things. Not that things that really affects us too much, but we're going to establish VW. Mass producing a people's car will bolster morale and create a reinvestment in the civilian infrastructure and industry. Not to mention, who doesn't like a good Kubelwagen? Uh, but what I'm talking about is this. The French have joined the American faction. Because, oh, they're not very ready for the war, are they? But America took over the Commonwealth of Nations faction from Canada. Makes sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, they look like they're really, really against Mexico. Then again, who knows how many divisions the Soviet Union sent over to Mexico. Actually, are they still fighting? No, there's... Uh, did they finish the war against the Finns? Uh, it's still a glitch, unfortunately. German-Colombian War. Japanese-American War. Okay, well then. Um, go and grab this, too. And we're still just training more guys. That's all we're doing. Just training a whole bunch of guys. While we're waiting for the Dutch, to actually do something here. Expand already facilities, which is a pretty good one to do, but please just cave to the Germans. Please, please, please. So, um, but we're still building ourselves up, which is actually quite good. Building a lot of radar, especially for when we really start striking out against the enemies here. Um, how's rubber looking? We have five rubber, which at this point, only that only gives you one. This gives you four, but it still gives you a little bit of rubber. And we could use more rubber because, well, we're going to make a lot more planes, realistically. Um, how many more days left do we have against bulk? What happened to my justification? Um, well, that's dumb. Anyways, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's do a Danubian alliance. Despite the lack of Balkan industrial power, the position in Europe is undoubtedly an important one. Anti-imperialist stance. Journey and German, or German, yeah, anti-colonialism. Cooperation with the Soviets. Versus counter-Soviet aggression. We're probably counter-Soviet aggression. And invite Finland. Oh. Because I want to fight the Soviets. Requires all the following. Invite Finland. Invite Poland. Well, they're dead. Invite the Baltics. Which might work. Um, safeguard neutrality from the center to the center of Europe. The Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany. Oh, look at them. Old unique position of being actually able to guarantee the safety of its neutral partners. And if any conflicts were to break out anyway, we would undoubtedly claim victory and only come out stronger and cooperate with the Nordics. Since the decline of the empires of the North independence of Finland, these nations have traditionally stayed neutral. But with the Soviets at the doorstep waging aggressive wars, they can't refuse to contribute to European safety. So it's not bad, but I think we'll go to war with them in a little bit. Oh, they are doing really well against these guys. How is the Comintern doing so well? We might need to push up how fast we go to war with them, because they're doing much better than what I would assume, especially if they're fighting a whole bunch of different people at the same time. But you know what? Who am I to judge? But i got to end the episode here. I think it's a little shorter than normal. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll strike against the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Thanks for watching, have a great, 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 great rest of your day.